What's up, guys? We're back. Back from break. Back from Christmas, which just happens to be almost like half a month ago. So uh, it's taken me a while to get back into the flow of things just because the breaks were busy and then coming back from the break was also super busy and work's just gotten like super crazy, but it's all good things. So uh, that being said, we are back and I'm super excited to start doing more recordings this year. I have a bunch of new things that I want to show off and that I want to record. So it's going to be a good time. You guys just got to stick around and, and, and watch. But uh, for tonight, we're going to do a little game called the Watson, the Watson Scott test. That's the name. Um, it's an interesting concept in, in a psychological test. Uh, I, it's, it's an indie game and the format seems to be pretty standard. You just basically sit down and you stare at the screen and then you watch what happens. Um, uh, but it's got some twists and turns as far as I can tell. I'm not, I'm obviously I haven't checked out the game. I kind of wanted to keep it fresh for myself. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started and see what it does. I'm excited. I'm excited, but I'm also a little cautious um high does like this seem to have like a hit and miss rate uh that's like fair like 50 50 so we'll see what we got we'll see what we got all right uh there we go now welcome to this to the watson scott test i'm gonna pump up the volume a little bit hopefully we can hear it that's good right yeah that should be good okay let's go ahead and keep it there i'm gonna keep voice a little bit lower <clears throat> all right Welcome to the Watson Scott test. Start. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, here we go. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying cause of your darkest fears. Okay, I'm going to wait until the question is all done so that I can read it all in one sitting and not sound like I don't know how to read. That's probably a wise idea. All right, continue. For each question, select the response, which gives you the best and most truthful answer. Okay. Pretty standard test. At the end of the examination... Okay. You will receive your analysis and certificate of participation. Yay! I participated. I already don't like how many... How, like, the, the glitchy effect... I love the background, but the glitchy effect is kind of taken away from it right now. It's a little too much. I think they're throwing it at you a little too fast. A little too early, I should say. Oh, please know that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death do you wish to continue this is kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy man i'm gonna say yes <laughs> and if i die of a heart attack this will be my best worst video yet let's hope that doesn't happen let's say yes hopefully we'll be within that 13 percent some calibration questions okay firstly some calibration questions let's go I got this. How many minutes are there in one hour? Well, 60. I'm acing this shit, man. I'm gonna do so good on this. If I have one apple and you give me two apples, how many apples do I have? Well, three. It almost felt like that was kind of a trick question. <laughs> Are you playing a game right now? Uh, no. It's a test, right? It's not a game. No. Are you sure it's not a game? Well, I'm not sure it's not a game. It could be a game. Calibration. Oh, <laughs> what? Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Man, I wish they'd sped up the text a little bit. 
it's almost like somebody else is typing this on the other side like it's not a i think that's the, the effect that it's supposed to give you somebody else is typing like on the other side of the screen it's raining outside and you're walking in bare feet you take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes you feel satisfied guilty jealous disgusted or nothing well i feel guilty <laughs> it's, it's like mm, took a little too long Okay, a small child is walking down the street with a large ice cream in her hand. So it's a girl. She trips and falls, dropping her treat on the ground. All right, it's bad luck. You feel satisfied, sympathetic, sad, amused, or nothing. Well, sad, of course sad. I'm not a psycho. You're at a farm. Whoa, my God, that glitch effect. <laughs> You're at a farm. You make eye contact with a cow in the field. The farmer says its name is Samuel. It's dinner time, and the farmer serves you a plate of ribeye steak. Okay. You. <laughs> Thank the farmer for the meal. Say nothing. Stab the farmer with your knife. Or politely request a vegan option. <laughs> I must say I'll thank him for the meal. Or say nothing. Uh, am I eating Samuel? I'm going to say thank you for the meal. Okay. Let's go. Pretty standard, like, basic human emotion, right? I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's a little disturbing, I guess. It's a hairy snake with spider head. How did that image make you feel? Happy, afraid, uneasy, violent, nothing. Uneasy. That was uneasy. It wasn't like... It wasn't terrifying, but it was kind of like, ugh, gross. <clears throat> <laughs> Make me feel hungry. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, mm, mm, undecided. Have you ever seen a ghost? Well, it's kind of redundant. Unsure. That question is kind of redundant. Like, what, what, why would I say I'm undecided if I saw one? Thinking about the room you're in right now, has anyone ever died here? I hope not. Not yet. <laughs> or maybe the first. Not yet. Unsure. Unsure because, you know, when I move into this house, like, I don't know, someone might have died in, like, this general area. Unsure. I don't think they'd like that answer. How? How unconventional. <laughs> I think I'm being pretty wishy-washy with my answers. Please indicate how strong you agree or disagree with the following statements. Okay. I have a vivid imagination. I agree. I agree. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. <laughs> well, there are no ghosts here. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, at least I hope there aren't. You know what? I'll tell you what. Would, would uh, having kids actually make this a very relevant question? Because kids always think that there's a ghost somewhere around in the dark. So, I'm going to say... I strongly agree because, yeah, now that I think about it, I'm often, very often thinking about ghosts and whether there are ghosts here. Thank you, kids. I do more than what is expected of me. Yes, of course. I strongly agree. 
I heard a noise. <laughs> I often look over my shoulder to check if someone is standing behind me. Hmm, I see. Watching my screen. <laughs> oh my god. I see it's a good thing I have the camp. Pretty sure that was the game, but that's not an awful real. <laughs> uh, I strongly disagree because I have my camera. I don't need to. I just look at the camera, right? But if I ever look at the camera and someone's standing right behind me and then, oh my, oh my Lord, my goodness gracious. No, you know what? I agree. <laughs> I agree. Even if I'm looking over my shoulder, I'm still looking somewhere, right? There is an unexpected guest in my house. Uh, I'm going to say I disagree. I strongly disagree with that. Nobody would know if I went missing. Strongly disagree. <laughs> you hear me, game? You can't kill me. What? Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. That is a strong disagree. <laughs> that is a strong disagree. Okay. Can I just ask? There's something here, right? Like, I can see something here. There's a face right there looking at me. It's not just me. Like, I can see shit there, right? Yeah, okay. You need an attitude readjustment. <laughs> I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Let me demonstrate. All right, demonstrate. Roses are red. Mm -hmm. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. Oh, good God. I'm inside your house. Congratulations! <laughs> only 41 of only 41 percent of participants typically reach this point in the examination. <laughs> From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? No. Yes. St strongly agree. Man, this game actually has me like looking at the camera a hell of a lot more than I usually would. I don't like that. How far is the closest police station? Oh, way more than a 15 minute walk. I am fair. Wait, is it? Oh my God, stop. What's that noise? Oh, grass grows. I'm gonna turn it up a little. When you're home alone, do you lock your doors? Yes, of course. Who doesn't? Man, I don't like the audio in this game. <laughs> How long can you hold your breath in the water? Less than 41 seconds, but more than zero seconds. Exactly 41 seconds, or more than 41 seconds. I think you can hold it more than 41 seconds. Oh, no, don't give me the scenario. Okay, imagine you finish this test and you're lying in bed tonight, attempting to sleep. You understand that I'm inside your house and you hear me underneath your bed. Fun times. You get up and look under the bed and I stab you in the eyes. Pretty typical for, you know, intruder. Uh, try to pretend you can't hear me or feel my presence, but then I stab you in the eyes. You fall asleep knowing that you'll wake up to me stabbing you in the eyes. You stab yourself in the eyes. Um. Actually, that's a pretty good question. I would just. I would save you the trouble. I would just stab myself in the eye. 
because none of the other options actually sound good i'll just stab myself in the eye <laughs> i am self-inflicting this pain on myself anyway so that makes sense If you were to be murdered within the set within the next seven minutes to 18 days, that's a pretty pretty standard time lapse. Which technique would scare you the most? Drowning in a plastic bag filled with water tied around my neck. Not really. Blunt force trauma, because you can just poke it. Blunt force trauma. Example, the cup on my kitchen sink propelled into my skull. That wouldn't kill me. Asphyxiation from my mouth and nose staple shut. Now that sounds scary. An adult ceramic blade inserted delicately into my temple i'm gonna go with this one because that's the, i do have a fear of asphyxiation for sure god do i want to watch this the, the image will not speak but it will move it will not i will now show you an image please to study it the image will not speak Okay, great. Okay, thanks. Thanks, I hate it. I see faces coming out and I don't like it. I see like a face staring at me like right here, right? I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping balls on this. How that makes you feel? Um, again, uneasy, it wasn't horrible. Mm hmm I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? Yes. Yes. And someone has to stop that screaming. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Do you know that I'm a good person? I don't know that, no. I want to think you are. But based on the questions you're presenting me, I don't think you are. So, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I want to believe it, but I know you're not. Oh. Are you lying to me right now? I think he's trying to give me a chance to redeem my answer. So I'm gonna say yes. Okay, don't, don't come at me, bro. Oh, lying is forbidden. Okay, good to know. Please select any of the Please select any of the following sports you have played. Wrestling, jiu-jitsu or jiu-jitsu, mixed martial arts, taekwondo, and none of the above. I did both. I did jiu-jitsu and I did ta taekwondo. I'll go with jiu-jitsu. Let's try that. This isn't going to end well. Okay. Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. Law enforcement, private security detail, mercenary, military, none of the above. Um, now, experience? No. I did do some mercenary work when I was younger. In a mercenary job. So I went with that. Do you trust me? To do the right thing, that is. Well, you're administering the test, I would imagine. Yes. Choose the word <laughs> that is most similar to appropriate. <laughs> okay, murder, baby, death, innocent, and chas or chasm. Chasm? Chasm? I don't know. Chasm. Chasm. Uh, mm. Most similar to appropriate, huh? I guess innocent? I'm gonna say innocent. Whoa. Confirm. 
the recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight response. It, well, how? Maybe at risk of acute stress reaction. Oy. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Please continue when you are calm. Only when you are calm. <laughs> okay. Let's give this a minute, guys, because apparently we're very agitated right now. Okay, I'm good. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. <laughs> Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. I mean, if something happens, I <laughs> I'm gonna run. I don't care whether I can do it or not. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna run. Did you look away from your screen? I did. Oh, that's aggressive. I don't need to be rude. Yes. Do you think I can tell <laughs> when you look away from your screen? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Maybe. I'm going to say mm, maybe. If you're using a camera, you can, you know. Now it is. Do you feel safe in your house right now? Not really. <laughs> you have planted the seeds of doubt in my head, sir. Now. Are you having fun? <sighs> really? Screen, stop glitching thing. I'm unsure. I know when you're lying to me. <laughs> Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. Okay, that's good. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Also good. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? No. Liar. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, come on. <laughs> well, this isn't a test anymore, is it? Don't move or you may die, nobody. What? <laughs> Music can help us all relax. Singing is relaxing. What do you know? <laughs> Did she all around the mulberry bush? The monkey chased the weasel. The monkey stopped. But what? Papa? Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh oh. Oh, goes the weasel. Oh, oh. Oh. I don't need that. I don't need that. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, guys. That, oh my god. What is happening? Bob goes the weasel. Jimmy's the whoop. Jimmy's got the whoop. What? Oh, mm. <laughs> mm. I knew that was coming and okay. I knew that was coming and still got the shit out of me. I survived the Watson Scott test. I lasted 22 minutes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> 47 seconds. Please stop. <laughs> my analysis. Easily manipulated. Difficult with public speaking. Or difficulty with public speaking. Respect of respectful of elders. Stepping on snails makes me feel guilty. I'm most afraid of going to jail for a crime I didn't commit. And interesting. I'm easily manipulated. Difficult with public speaking. Respectful of elders, which is good. Stepping on snails makes me feel guilty. Obviously, who like who doesn't feel that? All right, fine. Thanks, I guess. Main test is complete. There's a bonus test available. 
Is it gonna scare the shit out of me? Would you like to take it? Yes. It's gonna say like, fuck you, there's no test. Very well. Oh, interesting. Okay. This second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Ignorance will be punished. I mean, I think I can handle it. It's just going to be like fucking jump scares. I think. How do I know which, which answer is correct if it's like obje or subjective? I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in the development of future tests. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. 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 Go. 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 Complete this test as quickly as possible for accurate results. But do not let that fuck concern you. <laughs> okay. It is not. It is nothing to be concerned over. Okay. Fine. Oh my god. <laughs> After the examination, you will have a better sense of purpose and a stronger resolve. I want you to be stronger. Do you want to be stronger? Yes. Of course. Let's begin. How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? How many bones in the human body? Uh, isn't it like, like as babies, we have more because our bones have infused together on certain parts. So I'm going to say three or five. That sounds about right. Right. Okay. Good. Woo. Woo. Okay. Continue. Zero, one, one, two. What's next? Well, two, obvious. No. Uh, zero, one, one. Zero, one, one, two. Well, it would be zero, one, one, two, 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 three, two, three, three. three. Right? That that's a pattern that I'm under. I'm gonna say yes. No, wrong. What was it? Was it four? <laughs> How many times per year does the average human heart beat? Oh, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> it's about to stop right now. Fuck. <laughs> Oi. Oi. All right. I'm going to say a year. How many beats a year? If it's not stabbed, of course. 13 million sound about right. Well, not really. 30 million. Oh, God. Thank God. Yeah. Me. <sighs> oh. One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia, the Death Adder. Okay, that is correct. Bites an adult woman, injecting a highly deadly neurotoxin. How long does a woman have to live? Ah. Uh, To live, I would say probably around six hours. Okay, good. Continue. That was just common sense, though. It just feels like your body would probably, unless it's like an absolutely like radioactive kind of thing or like a very critical wound. I think you, your body pretty much tries to stay alive as much as long as possible. A man is tied to a chair against his will and a funnel is placed inside his mouth. Pulverized pig intestines are poured in. How much volume does the man's stomach hold before it raptures? Hmm. I don't know the metric system, but I do though because I live here. Uh, I want to say with four raptures or ruptures. I'm sorry for ruptures. Uh, I want to say uh, it can be. It can. I mean, it's pretty, uh, I want to say two liters. Ooh, that's wrong. So we can expect to get jump scared. Great. Fucking oh, amazing. I fear butterflies is gold. Thank you. <laughs> that word. I don't know what that word was. That word. Continue. 
A boy with no arms is facing west. He walks forward for 60 seconds and then turns 90 degrees. Okay. Left. He sees someone running at him, so he turns 180 degrees and begins to run. Which is the direction the boy is facing? Not a trick question. South. Oh, he's facing west. He turns 90 degrees. So he's now facing east. No, that was wrong. Ah! Wait, what? Hold on. So you're facing west. You turn 90 degrees. So that would be... Right? So that would be south. Well, it depends if it was counterclockwise or clockwise. I don't know. And then 180 degrees. How do tapeworms enter their hosts? Airborne tapeworms sport. No. Burrowing through the skin. No. Uh, bites from infected mosquitoes. No. Sores or open wounds on the flesh. No. Larvae ingested by humans. Obviously. They're in your butthole. Well, they don't live in your butthole, but they can grow to be as long as your butthole. And for most of us, that's a big butthole, right? It's a big one. Please choose the third response. This is not a trick. I will not scare you if you do what I say. I am not lying. I am lying and I will scare you if you choose this. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> what is a positive electrode called? I should know this. A positive electrode. A cathode, I think. No, a diode. Ooh, it was a cathode. Ugh. Sorry. Hmm. Ah, which was the best video game released in 2014? Game of the year. <laughs> game of the year. 420 plays it. <laughs> Crossy Road. Or five, was not, five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's didn't come out in 2014. It came out earlier. So I'm going to say Crossy Road. Bing. I know my video game history. I continue. What is my favorite thing to do? Drink raccoon blood. Can I say drink raccoon blood? I've never tried it. It must be good. Contemplate the human condition, actually. That would be it. Correct. It is a test, right? It's a psychology test. Allegedly. Hey, the clock stopped. Oh, shit. Okay, but why are you doing that? Thank you. <laughs> okay. I hate that. Oh, your results are very helpful. <laughs> your participation was adequate. Adequate? There are no more tests. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> We're done here. For now. What? <laughs> Wait, what did it say? It just, it just unalived itself. <laughs> why? <laughs> like, why, why would it do that? <laughs> okay. I, I guess that works. Um, well, there you have it. The Watson Scott tests, everyone. Um, very interesting. Um, so a I guess a couple of things. The sound design is excellent. I'm not going to lie. That's probably some of the best sound design I've heard in a long time. It is very unnerving. Uh, when it starts to ramp up, it really does make you feel like... Okay, so my my headphones have uh, sound canceling or noise canceling, sorry. And uh, and like with that effect on, and when you start hearing the voices and the steps and the zippers and the thing, oh man, it does the job. It really does. Um, where I think the game kind of falls flat a little bit is on the actual jump scares. Like you're, you're actually ramping up the tension really well. You're doing an excellent job at ramping up the, the mood and the tension it sets, everything is great uh, until you get to, I think, I think there's nothing for a long period of time other than the sound design, which is good, but it's not enough to carry the whole thing. Anyway, there's something or there's nothing for a long time. And then all of a sudden at the end is like, bam, it's like it's jump scare and then jump scare again and then jump scare again. And it's just like, I think they could have done a better job at actually making you more uneasy with imagery and the things that they were asking you, like the questions were witty and they were funny and some of them were pretty, you know, scary, I guess. Um, but again, I just feel like it was like flat, 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 and all of a sudden, boom. So I guess it works. Um, 
it's an interesting experience nonetheless and i actually did enjoy it it's, it's, it was fun i think like i said it was funny and it was scary at times um less on the jump scares next time more on the psychological horror ramp it up it is a psychological test after all right this is supposed to be uh the results page was kind of interesting the uh the results page on the first test um on the second test it was also interesting but again it was a little too predictable as far as like what they were going to try to scare you with so not as fun i thought it was going to be more interesting they were going to have more details but they didn't so it was good um i don't know how much i paid for it. i think i paid like three dollars for it, three four dollars so i guess it's fine for what it is um and again the sound design is really good i want to see this developer do something with sound because they did really good and sound is like such a huge part of that experience right so Kudos to them. Um, I like it, and I think it, I think it was fun. But yeah, it uh, it falls flat a little bit on the on the horror aspect of it. Anyway, that was basically it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right now because I actually want to go and play Observation Duty Four, which we're gonna do a video about as well. It just came out in December. I didn't even know that it came out, so that's gonna be the next video. All right, guys, thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, talk to you later.